Hello and welcome to class. This is Murphy Stitches. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to draft the basic pattern, the foundational block. Alright? And in this pattern, this method of pattern drafting, I'll be using the Natalie Brace method. I will show you the simplified way of drafting it using the Natalie Brace method. And of course, we'll be converting it to inches. We won't be using CM. Okay? This is all about the simplified pattern, okay? The simplified method, and you understand it if you follow my guidelines, okay? Now, in this class, here are the things that we'll be using the French curve, my straight ruler, then my marker pen. I can use my pencil, you know, it's always good to use pencil, then after you highlight it with your marker, okay? So that's when you make mistake, you can just easily erase it, all right? Then my tape room, and of course my measurements. These measurements, I in the other class, I showed you how to take accurate body measurements. You know, taking accurate body measurements gives you a perfect fit after you draft your pattern. Okay, so you should consider taking accurate body measurements. Uh, you you need to refer back to my other video. Where I did, I taught you how to take accurate body measurement. Now we'll be going to the class now. So our pattern paper, you need to first of all get the dimensions, all right? Always, always take out the margins. You can do half half inch depending, okay? Half half inch margin, so that when whatever when something happens to this pattern, by way of if it tears up. It will not affect your main block, all right? Because you can refer to this foundational block for any design that you want. It will serve as a parent pattern for you. If you want to draft any design, you can just use it and okay. So you you should be getting your 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 margins, all right? Now the first line, like I told you, I'll be referring to my measurements. Okay, you can as well use yours if you want to practice or your your client's measurements. The first line I'll be using is this line. It's serving as our top line. This line here, this first margin line, is serving as our top line. Then another line I'll be getting is my bust point. Okay. First, I'll get my shoulder line by coming down by 1.5. 1.5 and this line will go across to the back it will run across to the back there are some lines that will run across the back why there are some that will that will just be on the front okay you have to do it separate all right you will all see all of them here all right then another line i'll be marking out is my bust point this is my shoulder line 1.5 inches from the top line then my bust point my bust point is 10 inches and it will run only on the front okay i'll only mark it on the front part it will run across to the back you'll see why all right then another line is my shoulder to under bust all these lines you have measured it my own is 13.5 and this line will run across to the back. Just follow my guidelines. You see, this pattern method is very simple, and it's you can use it to draft whatever design that you want to make. Okay. Then the last line will be taken out now is my shoulder to waist. That's my front half length. This front half length will run to the back. Okay, I'll show you how to alter the back and my measurement is, is 16. I'll show you how to alter it for the back to be shorter. You know, normally our back measurement is usually shorter than the front because of the bust, the protruding bust area of the front. Okay, so your back, your back can never be the same measurement width front half length and my own is my own back half length is 14 so i'll be showing you how to do all of that so i've marked out my lines i've marked 
the lines out now another line that will be marking out is my armhole line or you can just call it the bust line not the bust points okay because that is where we normally take our bust measurements so the armhole line you take it from the shoulder not from the top line okay other me other measurements we took it from the top line but this one you will be marking it from your shoulder and for you to get the armhole line you have to divide the, your bust divide by 6 plus 1.5 you can decide to add two, but it's between 1.5 and 2. But me, I normally use 1.5, and my value is 7 and half. So this line will be running through the back. Okay, it will be running from the back from the front to the back. Alright. So as you can see, this boss point is the only line that ran to the front. Okay, there are other lines that will also run only to the front and the one that will also run only to the back. I'll show you all of that. So the next line that I'll be marking is my chest line, my front chest width. You know, I told you how to, I taught you how to measure it. From the armhole line, I'll be coming up by 2 inches and this line will only run on the front. I won't take it to the back the back has its own okay so it will only run on the front then i'll mark it out now i'll be showing you how to impute all our measurements the first thing i'll do is to mark my neck my neck width and my neck width is three by three three by three for my size you know I showed you how to calculate it. There is a formula for that in the in, during our measurement class. So I'll be marking it. This is how I'll place my my French curve. Do not slant it. Just place it straight. Okay. Then you connect the line. Then another line is my shoulder. You know, I measured my shoulder. My shoulder is 15. 15. I'll be dividing by two. If I divide it by 2, it will be 7.5. 7 now, on this, on where the next stopped, started, sorry, stopped, I'll place that by 3 inches and then make my shoulder pass. I will take the measurements and I'll make it pass across to this shoulder line. All right. I hope you are getting what I'm trying to explain. Slant your tape, not straight. Slant it, make it pass across this shoulder line okay so i'll be having my 7.5 i'll just place the point there and then my that my shoulder that for the front you know during our proportion i taught you how to how to calculate those proportions those pro pro proportions have already been calculated these are values that they were taking the average values that we are taking on different clients then they arrived at a particular value all right, for my size, which is size 8, is 2.5. So I'll be adding 2.5 to that shoulder line, to that shoulder, to my shoulder measurement, and I'll have 10. So I'll be stopping my shoulder at 10, and then I'll connect. All right. So now I'll be taking out that 2.5, which I added on the shoulder, and this is how I'll take it out. I'll get the midpoint of this line now. I have seven. I'll get the midpoint. Then on that midpoint, I'll I'll then mark out the 2.5. From my tape rule, the midpoint of 2.5 is one and quarter. So I'll place my one and quarter on this point now, and then I'll mark my 2.5. Can you see how I did it? so this show this is my shoulder line this point and this point all right and i'll be connecting it to my bust point my bust point line on the bust point line i'll get my nipple bust span or nipple to nipple okay and my nipple to nipple divide by two is 3.5 i'll mark it 3.5 then i'll connect the that to the 3.5 all right this is how you connect it
Now I'll be imputing my horizontal lines now, my bust and my chest width, my chest width measurement. So my bust measurement is nine, okay, thirty six divided by four. I have nine, and as you can see, there is a dot here. So I'll be I will be skip, uh, uh, skipping the dot because if I did not skip it, it will affect my measurement. So I'll be skipping this dot here and measure my nine. This is how you do it. I will measure here and then skip this dot and continue. All right. This is my nine. And for the for this pattern draft, you at the bust area, you should have one inch excess. One, it, it will serve as an ease allowance. So I'll be adding it both on the front and the back. So I added half to the front, and I'll also add half to the back, making it one inch. All right. So this is nine point five. As I like, I told you, I I skipped this particular that. Also, I'll do the same for my chest width, front chest width. My front chest width is 6.5. I'll also skip this that. This is how I am doing it. I have four here. I'll skip it. I'll place this four on the second line and then map my value. Okay, this is where it stops. Now, I'll have to connect this line. I'll have to map a draw a perpendicular line for these two lines now like so can you see and then connect this one this chest width and the shoulder forget this extension here i'm not using it okay so i'll connect this like so so i'll be connecting this to my bust measurements to where i measured my bust but before i do that i'll have to get the midpoint of this shoulder this is my shoulder point sp and then my chest width my chest point so i'll get the midpoint then come in by three over eight i taught you how to measure how to read your tape measure your tape measure all right i'll come in by three over eight so this is three over eight so this is i'll now use my french cuff to connect this line and this and then to my bust all right it's very simple this is the three over eight one two three so it's what i marked okay so i'll be connecting it the three of them if you are trying to connect the three ones and they are not matching just you can as well do two at a time all right but my own is matching so i can just take it once all right so i'll be imputing my waist my waist measurements now and my waist i have 31 which is seven and quarter so i'll be adding 1.5 inch to my waist i'll also be taking it out as a dart okay this is where it stops then i'll connect it to the bust point to where the bust measurement stops okay like so all right so i'll be extending my waistline towards the hip and for you to do that some people have from their waist to hip as eight and some nine but i normally use eight and this line will be extending to the back all right it will be running towards the back okay so and i'll also be connecting it So I will now take my hip measurement. My hip measurement is 38 divided by 4. I have 9.5. So I will use my hip curve to connect. But in a situation whereby your after measuring your hip and you notice that this extension is more than what you have here, and it will be giving you it will be giving you a straight line here. 
it's not fashionable all right what you just do is add one to the hip measurement then after you take it off and say that all right so that you have that curve that hourglass shape around your hip line okay I'll, this value that i got here i'll also be marking it on my hemline okay for a straight gown i'll also be extending it to my hemline in a straight line like so so now on the waist you know i added 1.5 on my waist i'll also be taking it out but first i'll mark my bust span because i added 1.5 i'll i will have to take half and quarter on both side okay half and quarter on both side and i'll be connecting it towards my bust point but i'll have to come down by one inch or half inch from my from my bust point you shouldn't get to this bust point so that it will give it a pointed um, a pointed curve or pointed line so with my straight ruler i'll be connecting it to to this place then on my hip part i'll be coming down by i'll be coming down by five inches from my waistline for the front then for the back i'll be i'll be coming down by six all right so i'll also connect but you should make you should also use the value of your nipple nip boss span so that to get it to get it in a straight line so i'll connect it like so all right this is going out as a dart also this is going out as a dart okay i hope it's very clear now for this front part is set now but before you before you do this before you cut it out although i will have to show you after i'm done with my back bodies and also how to alter this to a pencil gown all right this is a straight gown i'll also show you how to alter it to a pencil gown but that will be when i'm done with my back panel like this i've come to the end of this front panel now i will be showing you how to alter the back panel here i have you pick all right on the arm for the front i've also labeled all my points this is the neck point i've also labeled all my patterns as you can see it's very easy and understandable just you have to go through the video so that you get you understand it proper do not just don't just watch it once you can you can watch it as many as possible so that you get what i did here it's very simple it's very easy and i simplified it for you to understand it proper i've simplified it for you to understand it proper now we'll be going to the to the back i will show you how to draft the back all right so my name still remains small fit and i hope you like what i did here you can as well give me a thumbs up or like this video share this video and subscribe all right thank you for watching so welcome back this is for the back panel i'll be showing you how to alter the back so that this waistline will match to the waist of the back we are we are going to use this waistline as that of the back okay i'll show you the easiest form to do it now my back half length is 14 okay my back half length is 14 so i'll be placing that 14 on this waistline on this my front because this is the front half length and i extended it towards to the back so i will be placing my 14 on that line it will serve as the front as the back half length okay so what i will do to alter it to be the same height with the the front i'll have to mark a new shoulder line you know this is the shoulder line for the front so i'll now have to mark a new shoulder line because this is where it stops 
this is my 14 and this is where it stops my front half length is 16 and my back half length is 14 so i'll be placing my 14 on this line then i'll mark a new shoulder line it's just to the back i'll just extend it just to the back all right then i'll mark it out here i'm using my pencil but after i'll highlight it with my marker pen okay then i'll also take my neck measurements here on this line now which is three by one for back three by one okay and i'll also connect it I can i can use my french curve to connect or use any other curved ruler to connect okay so here i'll also take my back shoulder my shoulder i'll also mark my shoulder you know this is a straight line and it's not advisable to just mark it on this line so you also be slanting it now i'll place my three inches here and i'll slant it a little it does not affect the armhole i will show you how to check the armhole after you are done so i slanted it from this line a little bit okay i slanted it so i'll be adding half inch to my shoulder measurements for the back i'll also be taking out the back shoulder that okay but it's going to be half inch so i'll be using my marker pen to mark out this line this is our new shoulder for the back i'll be stopping here all right so for the back chest width for the back width i'll be taking out the from this my neck nape here is the here is the neck all right so i'll be taking the midpoint here to determine my back chest width okay what i have is three from the bust line i have three and it will just run to the back okay so i'll be marking it out when i'm done i will label all these lines for the back okay so i will mark my back width the value here i have seven my back width is 14 divided by two is seven okay i'll also mark it on this line seven on the bust line and also on the shoulder so i'll be connecting it with a straight line like so so i'll be stopping here on the shoulder so on my bust line i'll mark my bust measurements all right my bust measurement is nine and i told you to add to add half to it okay so i will connect these three lines this is the shoulder line here and here like so if it's not joining once just take it two at a time all right so that you won't make any mistake can you see can you see how the shape is coming out very neat and easy so on my waistline i'll be taking out my bust pan and i'll also add 1.5 to it sorry i'll be measuring my waist measurement which is seven seven and quarter and i'll also add my 1.5 which i'll also be removing as a dart okay then i'll connect it like so i'll connect it to the bust then on the hip i'll mark out my hip measurement i have 9.5 i'll also mark it on my hemline 9.5 and then i'll connect all my lines i'll do it and show you so i've also i've connected my lines and i've also labeled all my lines now i'll be taking out my darts on the waist but first i'll be doing my back tightening all right this back tightening is very necessary for you to do okay i'll be taking out half this half inch is for my back tightening and i still have one inch remaining for the one and a half i added so i'll be taking it out on the middle point on my bust span point i have my bust span as three and half but i won't be marking three and half i'll be marking four okay because if i take it at 
three and a half and this that now if i connect this line it will make my 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 back the back that to be very close to this back side all right so i will leave it at four you also measure the four towards to the bust line and also mark it on the under bust line then for the back you'll be coming down by six six inches from your waist all right also measure the four inch so that it will be on a straight line okay so i'll be connecting this line on a straight line so here i still have half inch i'll now take out half inch on both sides okay so i'll connect this that's here here and then i'll show you i've connected my dart lines now it's time to get my shoulder dart all right and to do it i'll get the midpoint of this line i'll mark the midpoint like so and then take take quarter inch from the both side you know i added half so i'll take quarter inch from both side and this is how i'll be connecting it i'll be marking down i'll be coming down by 3.5 from the shoulder i'll make sure i slant i'll slant it in a form that it will match this boss point this point here it will match here okay so i'll be coming down by 3.5 this is where i'll stop so this is our back shoulder that all right okay so this is set now then for the down part i told you you can alter this pattern to a straight gown or even a line okay this is the foundational block now for you to do that i'll be removing four inches from my pattern from the hip line i'll be removing four inches from it then i'll take two from my front and two from my back so i'll mark out two from my front you can as well decide to take out three all right it's not much that it will be four but i love using four for it to give me a good fitting at the down part okay then for the back i won't be taking it on one side so i'll be taking it out because we'll be cutting this back part open all right so i'll mark out because i removed two i'll mark out one inch from both sides all right this will also give the the center back of the hip a, a an illusion around the hip parts to make the hip pop out well and give it a very good fitting around the hip so i'll mark out my lines now so now i've marked out all our lines now our pattern is set but the last thing that you do now you won't be cutting it out like so because it will affect the shoulder line now this is how you do it you fold your pattern paper on the bust line the bust point line you fold it like so can you see what i'm doing on the bust point line you fold it like so then from the neck point go towards the shoulder and fold in this start like so so you'll be connecting this new line here You'll be connecting this new line so i'll be using my tracing wheel to connect the sp the np and sp all right this will give us a new shoulder line okay so if i open it out now i have a new line so i'll use my marker pen to highlight it so that you see the new line mark it out then connect this this brings us to the end of this class i hope you understand it very well if you really like this video try and subscribe my name still remains more thank you for watching